Michael Jordan had quite a few standout teammates throughout his career, but during the Bulls' dynastic title runs, Scottie Pippen was always viewed as MJ's right-hand man. That's why Pip's recent comments about Jordan, whom he referred to as a horrible player, were so surprising. The reactions to this came from many people in and around the league, with former player Brian Scalabrini wondering whether or not Pippen was under the influence of some sort of substance that led him to making such an outlandish claim. Immediately after Pippen's quotes on Jordan hit the internet, fans everywhere went into a frenzy. How on earth was Pippen going to call the guy that played a vital role in winning all six of his rings a horrible player? Scalabrini quickly shot down that opinion, suggesting that the definition of a horrible player for Pippen is simply absurd. Scal added that even Boston Celtics players who played with Larry Bird were in complete awe of Jordan. This is the oh same Scottie God. Pippen that won six rings drugs, right? with Michael Jordan. Well, your definition of a horrible player, what is that? What does a horrible player look like then? Not a horrible basketball player. Michael Jordan has always been a high-level basketball player. Didn't Bob Knight say, this guy's the greatest player I've ever seen? <laughs> Danny Ainge told me, from the time I saw Michael Jordan the first time on the NBA court, I said to myself, this is the greatest player I've ever seen. And we all knew, even with Larry Bird on the team, that he was the best player on the floor. And that was all before Scottie Pippen got there. It's not out of the picture to suggest Pippen's claim here is the worst take in the entire history of sports. That's simply how outrageous this was. But Scalabrini does a good job of putting Pippen in his place and saying what everybody else was thinking. These comments almost certainly won't get any reaction from Jordan, but it's clear everyone is still mind blown by what Pippen had to say about his longtime teammate and obviously former friend. Stephen A. Smith passionately defended Jordan and hinted that Pippen's recent comments could have something to do with his ex-wife. Larsa Pippen has been romantically linked to Jordan's son, Marcus, since late 2022. Are you that mad, Scotty? Is it personal? Is it just about basketball? Is it about the son dating the ex-wife? I'm not passing judgment. I'm just saying you wearing your bitterness on your sleeve for a reason. It ain't cool. It ain't right. It's beyond wrong. And whether you like it or not, it's total betrayal. You don't have to sink to these lows, bro. You really should be ashamed of yourself. In the lengthy monologue, Smith mentioned that he does respect Pippen. But he also pointed out that he believed that the seven-time All-Star should be ashamed by his recent remarks. I saw what Scottie Pippen had to say. And I have to admit to y'all, I was pretty stunned. I really, really was. We all know that Scottie Pippen was a great player. We all know he's one of the greatest players to have ever played the game of basketball. We all know that he's an all-world defensive player and, is, and he's a six-time champion himself. There's nothing to take away from his greatness as a player. But he was second fiddle for a reason. Because anybody with eyes, doesn't even require 2020 vision by the way, knew that there was Michael Jordan and then there was everybody else. Smith had mentioned the impact that Jordan left on the NBA. The great Larry Bird called Michael Jordan God in gym shorts. God! In gym shorts. That's who Scottie Pippen is talking about. That guy. We're talking about a dude that took the NBA into a stratosphere that is appropriately described as global, if not out of world. Jordan was horrible. What the hell did that make you? But that would be disrespectful to Scottie Pippen. And Scottie Pippen doesn't deserve that. But you know what Scottie Pippen deserves? He deserves to hear the truth. Somebody has to tell him. Several truths come to mind. The first take host also accused Pippen of being envious of Jordan. You sound like a fool. You sound like an ignorant dude that don't know the game. We know better than that. We know how brilliant you are at knowing the game, Scottie Pippen. We know how knowledgeable you are. So it only brings two other things to mind about you, bro. 
envy, and bitterness. Those are the two things. Let's count the ways. Number one, you weren't Michael Jordan. First of all, you knew that. You knew it when he left the game. You knew it when you would wear Jordan sneakers when you were on the court. And you would kick your feet up for the cameras to see what you clamoring for Michael Jordan to come back. You didn't hate him then. You didn't hate him when you needed him. Because your feelings are hurt about the last dance. Because Jordan had editorial control, according to you. You want to hold that against him. Scottie Pippen, don't hold it against Jordan. Hold it against broadcast journalism. Hold it against television. The Chicago Bulls won six NBA titles between 1990 and 1998 in what was arguably the greatest run in North American sports history. The unprecedented run was spearheaded by Jordan, but Pippen played a vital role as the number two player on the team. Reggie Miller is one of many Hall of Famers from his generation blocked from winning a championship by Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Asked about Pippen's comments on The Dan Patrick Show, Miller tried to analyze Pippen's point while criticizing his poor framing. I think it's more war choice that we're focusing in on here. Um, the word horrible. No, it wasn't horrible because he was a top three player at the time. He was an all-NBA player. He was electrifying. Horrible means he couldn't, is like a role player. I, I think, um, and to Scotty's point and what he's trying to say is, Mike didn't start winning and playing team basketball until I got on the team. Miller believes the last dance was a trigger for Pippen. During the ESPN documentary series, Jordan said he thought his star teammate was selfish for not undergoing ankle surgery until the start of the 1997-98 season. Pippen was reportedly wounded and disappointed by his portrayal. While Jordan obviously was never a horrible NBA player, Miller conceded that the legend didn't play a winning brand of team basketball until Pippen arrived. The former Indiana Pacers star called for Jordan and Pippen to meet and clear the air. I think Mike and Scotty need to get into a room and hash out whatever this difference is between them because Chicago and that run of six championships, I don't know if that'll ever be done again. And those two guys are central figures of why they're, why the Bulls are viewed as one of the greatest franchises of all time. Pippen's beef with Michael Jordan looks never ending. Ever since the release of the five-time MVP's documentary, The Last Dance, Pippen has thrown shade at MJ time and time again. However, the latest one was in a comparison with four-time NBA champion LeBron James. Joining his former teammate Stacey King for a podcast episode, Pippen ranked LeBron James over Michael Jordan statistically. However, he did not stop there. Pippen shared, LeBron will be the greatest statistical guy that ever played the game of basketball. Though Pippen went on to win six championships with MJ, he still believes it was horrible to play with the latter. Atlanta Hawks star Trey Young did not like this hate from Pippen. Young went on to mock the seven-time All-Star with a tweet. The 24-year-old shared, I thought this was AI-generated the way he was hating so hard, along with some laughing emojis. Clearly, Young did not appreciate Pippen's take, just like many other fans. For Mike Greenberg, hearing those comments from Pippen was genuinely sad. Watching this makes me genuinely sad. Scotty brought so much joy to so many people. The fact that it all left him with such bitterness is a terrible shame, Greenberg tweeted. It only takes some very basic research to see that Michael Jordan was already an elite player and arguably the best shooting guard in the NBA when Scottie Pippen was first drafted in 1988. Take a look at these numbers from Jordan in the 1987-88 season, when he won both MVP and the Defensive Player of the Year award in the same season. Jordan led the league with 35 points per game and also led in steals with 3.2 per game. He led the Bulls to 50 wins while shooting 53.5% from the field and averaging 5.5 rebounds and nearly 6 assists per game. Those are hardly the numbers of a horrible player, or even simply a good player. To put things into perspective, only 5 players have won MVP and the Defensive Player of the Year in the same season in over the 75-year history of the NBA. 
The 1987-88 season was Jordan's second time leading the league in scoring, a feat he would go on to accomplish for the next five years, and then for an additional three years after returning from his retirement. Despite playing with Jordan for over a decade, it's clear that Pippen is mistaken about his former teammate. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content. Thanks for watching.